Hello everybody and welcome back to Automation the Car Company Tycoon game. Today we're going to be playing in the career mode, at least I think that's what it's called. Anyways, we're basically going to be starting our own um, car company and we're going to be doing it that way instead of just making vehicles to import directly into BeamNG Drive. Um, I've tweaked basically everything. I just want to make our starting year 1960. Um, that's fine. That way it's going to be a bit nicer for us. I don't really like starting in 1946, I believe it is. Anyways, our difficulty preset is basically medium, and then I've tweaked one or two things, just like the starting year as you just saw. We're going to be starting in Gazmia, and our company name is Temper Motors. I just saw that myself. I'm not very creative, um, so I don't know, it's an okay name, I guess. I didn't really want to use one of the um, standard automatically generated names. Um, anyways, we're just going to continue, and um, you know, I, I think I've got an idea. Also, I've never actually made it all the way to 2020 yet, um, so that's going to be interesting. Um, so I think... We're going to go for the first one. I'm just going to go for Sport. Um, and you'll see what I'm going to do in a second. We're obviously just going to create that manually. Um, so we want a Sport. And what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go with one of these coupes right over here. Probably this one, I think. I really like that one. Or actually, maybe this one. Um, I, I like this one more. So I'll go for this one. Um, this 1960 coupe, and then I'm going to make a different trim, I think, and then I'm going to make a wagon out of that one. Um, and then maybe, maybe potentially if we facelift it, probably not this episode, in a future episode though, we might also make, um, a, a soft top one, you know, one, one, a, a convertible, that, that was the word I'm looking for, I'm struggling to speak. Anyways, we can just select that one, I guess, then we can view the next Panel. Um, I, I don't want to make a steel mill, and for that reason, I'm going to go for um, aluminium. As for the chassis, I think I'm just going to go for monocoque, question mark, yeah, probably. Um, chassis material, just for steel, probably. Um, do we want the engine in the rear? No, we don't don't want that because we don't want the engine in the rear because if we place it in the rear it'll also have to be in the rear for the family wagon one and I don't want that um, as for these I think maybe just solid axle coil question mark and I could go for a semi trailing arm in the back or is that a bit is that weird no i think that's fine um let's just up the quality of that by one we're definitely going to have to lower that down a lot does this lower it down it does not okay that's fine um as for the engine we're just going to create that new ourselves um this is sport not sport premium i'm just going to go for a 60 degree i are we going to go for a V8 or... Yeah, definitely V8, actually. Um, maybe a bit more torque? Yeah. That's fine. It's basically square. Um, that's good enough. As for this... Um, maybe just a regular overhead cam? Actually, direct acting. That's a lot cheaper, so I think we will go for that. Although we're not making a sport budget. Uh, we can just go for cast iron here. Um, what did I, oh, cast iron, just make it completely cast iron, um, crank, cast iron as well, that should be fine, um, I think we'll just be good with cast and cast on both of these, as for balancing mass, um, is it, which one's more expensive, yeah, I think, I think we will do that, it's not the budget version, so that should be fine, um, I'll touch all this later, um, once we see how many issues we have, um, double barrow twin carburetor, is that, 
Is that good? We w then we want to make that a bit larger. We can go for 55 um, medium. And then we will decrease the size on that a bit. I'll leave the fuel as it is. I don't, I, I don't feel a need to change that a whole lot. Maybe just medium or low. Nah, it's it's a pretty, it, it's a V8. You know, I think we can go for medium. It's a bit tall. Nah, we should be fine. Exhaust, single or dual? I think. I think I will go for a single exhaust. Um, none and baffled or baffled and reverse flow. Um, yeah, that's better. There we go. Unutilized octane, yeah, that's always the case. Just need to up the compression a little bit. Um, let's see how far we can up it. Um, oh, still actually, so we can go for a pretty high compression here. We don't want to completely break it though. That 9.5, that should be fine. Let's take a look at this. I'm pretty sure we can rev a bit higher. Not actually that much higher. Though we can rev a bit higher. 50. We'll go rev to 52. Honestly, I kind of like these curves. We're at 150 horsepower, which for 1960, the year we're in, you know, that's fine. Maybe we can up the cam profile a little bit just steal a bit more horsepower from that can we all up that all the way to 60 we can put it all the way up to 60 can we uh we're not gonna up the rpm limit just yet then um honestly i think this should be fine um v8 160 horsepower i'm honestly pretty happy with that so we should don't think there's really any need to paint that um carburetor do we want to increase that or is that let's let's take a look at that where is it that's the exhaust isn't it why did where did it go oh wow okay so let, let, we need to up that a bit there we go um header size maybe increase that there we go 165.5 horsepower honestly I'm pretty happy actually we can decrease that a tiny bit again you know what this is good this is good and this is good I like these curves um, that we can just head on to the car so for the first one um, I'm just gonna be making using this type and then we're gonna go for the wagon after that um, let's head actually paint I'll do that later um, drivetrain, it's going to be rear-wheel drive, we'll make it a manual 4-speed, I was hoping to make it a 5-speed, but I guess nah, that, that's fine. Top speed, we can definitely up that a lot, ooh, 225, that's not bad. Spacing, um, might just put that at like 42. As for the differentials, 1960, do we, do we leave them open? Because it is a sports car. Maybe. Do we get... Maybe an automatic locker? I think that might be better. Um, LSD seems a bit expensive because it's not like a real premium car. Tires, we can go radial. Um, for that, for the tire choice, we can just go for a sports compound, I think, honestly. Um, tire width. The rear tires, I think maybe you can make like two, two tens on that, 205, 210. And then front, it's a bit weird, but maybe 180 on that, just to have some smaller tires. For the offset um, in the front, we don't need it that much, to be honest. In the rear, I do definitely want some offset. Maybe we can put that at like 25. Nice. Also, tires a bit big. Maybe decrease those to 30, and then do we increase the rim size to thir 240s with 16-inch rims? That looks pretty good, to be honest. We might make the rims... Is that inch? I don't think that's in inches. Or it might be. You know, I don't even know, to be honest. Um. Anyways, this um, this is fine. And then for the wagon, we might make the rims a tiny bit smaller. 
of the quality one on that. Front brakes, I don't feel like putting drums on this. Um, front size, we can go for like maybe even 300 on that. We, we might put drums on the back and then go like 200 on that. Put that to 80, we're definitely going to need to change this and then go like 130. So we basically only have front brakes. Um, 55. That's fine. I, we're gonna have to change the brakes anyways. We won't. Don't need another tray on this. Look at how high it is. Um, we we. Isn't it? Oh, we haven't. We're not in, at suspension yet. Do we have seats in the back? We won't have any seats in the back. Um. Yeah, because we're going to make the wagon one, and then that one we're going to have like a whole bench in the back and stuff like that. So that's fine. Um, for the interior, sport interior probably. Um, quality, I'll up that by one. That's nice. Phonograph, we'll have a phonograph. Premium, not luxury. Steering. We'll go for a hydraulics. That's safety, advanced 60s. Yes, up the safety like two maybe even. We want it to be a nice sports car. Optimize the weight, maybe a bit lighter. Do we actually want to do that? A little bit. Yeah, sure. That's fine. Springs. Standard springs. Yeah, look at that. It's in sport muscle premium as well. Wow. Sport budget. It's actually a better match for sport budget. I wasn't even trying to make a sport budget car, but that's sport budget is even is even uh, greener. Okay, so let's see. We don't actually have that much issues. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, yeah, so it's the brakes and the dampers, front rear dampers, rear brake force is high. Yeah, I guess um, for the brakes, it's still high. I do we also have brake fade? We still have brake fade though, so 220 and then make this like 50. Actually, no, that, that's a bit low. We can put this at like 60. That's fine. 225s maybe even. No way it's gonna be mad at me now, no. There we go, that's fine, and then like 115. It's still complaining. Still slight brake fade. 250 and then I'll put this at like this is really increasing our price I think right but to be fair I wasn't going for sport budget and it is basically a sport budget car so that's fine rear dampers are hard yeah I'm sure they are um I this is fine a little bit of brake fade who even cares about that um suspension rear damper rate Still, it's it's a sport preset. They're not... Why are you complaining? Oh, yes, here it is, right height. Um, let's just close this a little bit. And then let's see. We can't make it any... Why not? Am I missing something? Or am I stupid? Or is this just... Hello? Why can we not make it any smaller? Front and rear suspension choices. What if we choose progressive suspension? If we just up the springs a whole lot. Oh, now it's not. Yeah, no, we're not gonna. We're, we're gonna undo that. Okay, cool. Um, basically, it's gonna be a really, really high sports car. Cool. Um, I don't know how to change that. It's not letting me change it. I'm probably just stupid. I changed it back to sport. Why are you getting mad? 3.0. There we go. Now it's happy. Now it's happy. Now it's happy. Okay. Honestly, this should be fine. Um, and it's, it's really high. Maybe the suspension is just a bit stretched. It's probably gonna, probably gonna be a bit smaller in practice, but Oh well, I guess it's fine. Um, now it's just time to design this car.
Okie dokie, here it is, the Temper Beam, um, and it's the Beam Sport X, which personally I think is pretty cool. The X, honestly, I don't know where it stands for, um, and you know, that's good, because whoever's going to buy this car gets to um, decide what it stands for themselves, um, which makes this car very customizable. Um, so that's cool, and I'm sure it's going to encourage a lot of people to buy this. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Anyways, um, this is basically the car. It's a bit weird because it's so high, but we're just going to live with that, I guess. Um, the back, I'm very, very happy with the back. We've got the automation logo over here. Temper Beam Sport X. Oh, yes. Then we got these lights over here. This back here is also a light, we got a plate on that, a beautiful bumper which goes all the way around um, as you can see over here. We've got these accent lines which come down over there as well. You can actually open the boot um, and yeah, we've got these beautiful rims which are now 17 inch instead of previously being 16 inch I think, I'm not sure what the measurement's in. Um, the front. The front is also fine. I'm a bit less happy with it. Um, you know, the front, that was a bit of warming up. Um, and honestly, the back, the back is perfect. Um, so then I guess we can... Whoa, where do we go? Okay. Um, let's zoom out a bit. There we go. So we can take a look at the boot. Um, I honestly, as you can see, I did do it. I, I, I put some wheel covers in here. And I put in the flooring. And I even covered up these two beams that were over here. I'm very proud of myself. Anyways, kind of bland, then through the boot, we can go in into the front over here, it's a two-seater. Um, we got this pretty extravagant and monotone interior. Not sure I love it coming back in here, but oh well, it's not like I'm going to change it. Um, we got a manual shifter, which seems to be disappearing in this right over here, which is fine. Um, and then we got this beautiful dashboard filler up here, nothing pokes out of the car. And then we got a functional screen over here as well. Um, pretty cool to be honest. Also, you might notice we only actually have one wiper. This is because of a pretty cool design I once saw on a car. Um, and basically what the wiper does is it goes all the way around and then back, all the way around and then back. So it's technically a 180 degree wiper. Um, I think it's pretty cool. But... And I decided to put that on this car, also because I was lazy to add two wipers. Um, but yeah, I, I, think it's, I think it's pretty cool. Anyways, that's basically the car. Um, very nice. It's, it, it, it's finished. Um, the only other thing I changed was that, as I said, I added the, um, the wheels. Anyways, um, I guess we can go all the way over to the... Maybe just a summary... Where is the, um, oh, yep, let's grab the graphs for a second. So this is Sport. It's actually even better in Sport Budget. Okay. That's pretty cool. We're going to sell 360 of these. Fixed price. Do we sell any more if it's like that? 364 and... At fourteen thousand three forty six. What was it? It was like this, right? Yeah, that's fine. No way it's also in the GT category. Family Sport Premium. Well, not really, because it's not a family car, but um ooh, that actually made me think. That one the um the wagon one is probably gonna be a family sport one. Family sport, that seems like a pretty good category for that one. Anyways, um, we're mainly selling in sport budget, I guess. Muscle more than actual sport, which I guess is surprising, but that's fine. Um, so the stats, ooh, that's, that's, um, that, that's fine, dude. Whoa, power steering. Um, maybe we want to change that. Oh, <laughs> this is terrible. Why did I even decide to look at this? Okay, um, where's the, uh, power steering options? Steering? What if I change it to this? 
Yeah, so I guess this one's the best then. Okay. Sorry to everyone for that. Why is it saying my suspension tuning is terrible too? There is no... That's, that's fine. There's hints? I didn't even know that. Okay, I don't, I don't, I'm not even gonna try. Car's weight and lack of power steering reduces its drivability and comfort. Consider using power steering. Well, let's see what this says now. I first had power steering. Yeah, now this is a little bit better. Suspension tuning is terrible, but I basically just chose the sport preset. Is that, but now that all the dampers are hard, does it like it more though? It definitely doesn't like it more, so... Wrong button. Yeah, now it's fine. Um, okay. We're good. I guess we'll just complete the design. Got a few flaws, um, but that's fine. This is a pretty good number, you know? I honestly like that. So let's clone this trim, and then... I'll call this the Sport... The Sport what? Maybe the Sport F? Or the f family F, family S, Sport X and family S. Beautiful. Okay, then let's edit it. Um, and because it's fun, let's go from back to front. So markets, I want to set family sport as the um, target demographic for this car. Um, as for the body, we're going to grab the wagon over here. That's going to mess up many things. Oh, that's... Okay, um, let's, we'll have to make it a, a bit less wide, I reckon. Um, that's something we're going to start off with for sure once we start editing it. Anyways, it still doesn't seem to be family sport, I think, because I haven't... So we're going to add... We can't... No, we can... Why can we only add two seats in there? Then I almost feel like making it... Um, It wants to be a sedan. Four to five. I think we'll go with four. Um, we'll do a premium interior and not um, one of those interiors, whatever that is. We'll not, we'll not do a sport interior because that's weird. Family sport premium, but it, that wants to be a sedan. So, I mean, I guess we'll see what this turns out as. Is it high? Yeah, it's just as high as the other one, so there's no need to change the right height at all. Also, we'll probably change this to Comfort, um, or maybe Normal, just to make it a bit... Yeah, we'll go with Normal, I guess. I mean, don't really want Sport. We might... We can increase the dampers a little bit. So, that's fine. What if I... Add power steering. Yeah, that, then it's going to get really mad at me. Okay, we're not going to do that. Um, quality of that will up that, like, by two, because it's really not happy with that. Load capacity. Increasing ride height. We're not going to increase the ride height. Um, maybe like this, and then we'll decrease the dampers. Okay, so it's... In the fun category. That's cool. Fun premium. What is fun even? That's such a weird category because fun doesn't even mean anything. Um, as for the brakes, we'll have to like increase the front brakes a bit, I guess. We'll put that at 40. We'll put that at 60. We'll decrease the force there then. How about 65 and we'll increase that force to 125. Then we've got some better brakes. Um, because, of course, it is going to be heavier. Um, then let's take a look at this. These wheels, I feel like they're too skinny. Um, we might just add, like, an, a little bit there. 660s. I think that's what it came with. Oh, that's the diameter. Nope, nope, nope. That, we'll put that at 40. Um, I want to change this. So the rear tire width. 200 is that that's a bit wide 
190s and 195s. I think that's fine. That that's fine, I guess. Um, the higher choice. Should we go for utility? Let's see what that changes. So sports compound utility does that. Maybe just I think medium compound. That should be fine. Do we make it a four by four? Does does do people get happy with that? No, I don't. I don't want it to be anywhere near the off road category. I might. I'm not going to make it an automatic. I I see what it changes. Um. So we'll decrease. I guess the top speed a bit. That's fine. Up the spacing a bit. Um. Maybe just put a manual locker on this. Oh, we do still want it to be a four speed. Quality, up that by one then, I guess. Um, and then we're back at the fixtures. I mean, maybe some, oh yeah, so for the morphing, I made the other one like really wide. This one, I'll keep it a tiny bit wide, but not really. Um, oh, that's a bit better. Oh, definitely like that a lot more. Then I can make this a bit wider too. Um, I guess we can go like that a bit, maybe. Question mark. Not going to change any of that. What about the back? Oh, wow, that's really long. Um, do We do want to have it a bit longer than it was, I think. Because I made the other one really short. And then this one we're going to raise up. The other one was all the way, all the way. It, w it was the lowest it could have been. Um, then the front, move it that way. The top, can I move it like... Oh, wow, you can move this in so many directions. I want it like that, but I also want it like that. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, this is good. This is good. I like this. I'm just going to now make sure all the fixtures work. Um, it's done. I changed the name from Family S to Waggy. Um, I really couldn't think of anything. First, I thought of naming it um, the Temper Beam Crimson, but I thought like Crimson is really a trim name. It'd more be a general name, so I decided to scrap that. Um, basically, um, with the looks, the only things I've changed is I've um, added in the seats here and honestly I understand why they um, they didn't let me place a bench back in here because as you can see these two seats are downsized versions of this and they still barely fit um, and as you can see I cannot make these any smaller there's already some of the uh, chrome material poking through it's really I've tried to make them smaller but it just doesn't work um, so that's basically the only thing I've changed there, and then I just moved the boot a bit backwards. Um, as for the front, that stayed the same. I changed nothing at all. Um, and then in the rear, I just adjusted one or two things to make it work, and I changed out the exhaust from a dual exhaust to a single exhaust. Um, and also, did I actually mirror that? I didn't. I added um, just a sort of like side um Fender, I guess, side little bumper here, uh, because, you know, it is kind of the family version, so I decided just to add that. Um, anyways, of course, it's a bit, it's, it's a lot taller, um, the rear's a lot wider, and it's quite a bit longer as well. Um, then I just wanted to make sure that I actually have changed everything I wanted to. Um, let's see, what is this lack of power steering and the rear brake force is high well what convenient that we're here then increasing right height honestly spring stiffness sure you happy now nah they're a bit happier rear tires are wide that's that's correct actually um okay it, it honestly this is more than fine like two of these warnings that should be enough. Uh, that that that's that's. If, if you only have two, then you should be happy. Um, interior. Just want to make sure that I definitely done that correctly. Because if I didn't, and I actually missed something, uh, then um, you know everything kind of gets ruined. Yeah. So what did, did I actually 
do this. I, I think I did change that. It's fine. Um, so the Sport X, that's that one. Um, and then that's that one. So what do we want to put this in? Family Sport Premium, is that better? Yeah, I think that's a lot better. So we're going to change it to that, but honestly, it could sell as muscle or as, uh, yeah, I mean, that's the one it sells most in, right? And then Family Premium, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Um, yeah, so that's great, I guess. We can just head over to the summary and click on the check mark. If you guys want, I might even um, import these. Oh, that scores a lot lower. It's fine. If you guys want, I'll actually like import these into um, Beam and G next episode. Um, and then we can test them out, which I think is going to be cool. Don't need to change nothing here. Um, a variant one. Um, now we're just going to need to sign off the engine. That should be fine. Engine factory one. So small. We have an iron foundry. Um, that's just easily going to be a small one. Yeah, that's fine. Um, going to add QA testing because we are starting off with 400 million. That's quite a lot um, to start off with. So we, we should definitely add QA um, to it. Also, because it's not like we're going to get rid of this factory. Um, usually, you just keep the factories and you just change what they produce. Um, and you know what? Why not make that investment at the start, right? Um, so this should be fine. As you can see, engine factory is not overworked at all. Yet, we'll, we will need to look at that. Um, that's very important. So then we need to do the same for the car factory. Here it is. We could make this a small two, um, which could be cool. Um, do we? No way. We need steel presses. Okay, we need steel presses. So, um, honestly, I'm just gonna open up the project map, then go over. Let's see if we can. Um, I meant to make them aluminium. Oh, can we still change that? Yep. These are... I thought we don't need steel presses, right? We also need... Oh, we're gonna need the steel presses either way, because we can't... We can't even do anything without the steel presses. Okay. That's fine. Steel presses are really expensive though, they're like 120 million. No! That's really annoying, because then we need to make it a medium sized factory. And then the engine factories are definitely overworked. We could add QA testing, which I was planning to do if we could make it a small factory, but honestly, I don't think it's worth the 40 million. Oh, it's 80 million, okay, I thought it was 120. Still definitely not good. Maximum shifts. Let's put that at 2. Minimum shifts, 0.5. Target shifts, 1. Um, now it's saying, like, yo, engine factory is overworked. Yeah, it's definitely going to be overworked, the engine factory is. Wait, we have, do we have aluminium presses... It, they're recommended, but we can't add them. Okay, I was scared for a second. Profit looks good here, but that can, you know, be misleading sometimes. Um, we'll complete the design, that's fine. I'm scared, so... Engine project, let's just quickly edit that real fast. Um, we just want to go over to the factory, edit the factory... You're gonna go over here, and then we'll make it a small three. Um, that's gonna, it's all gonna be really expensive. Um, so, but, I mean, I'll do that, and then I'll just make the shifts. Oh, we can't edit the shifts. Okay, well, you know, that's fine. Um, engine costs a bit more than 2,000. That's actually pretty neat. 
Um, all right, so now we're here and now we can do all this. Why is the margin on that so high? Um, let's calculate. Okay, so five years total profit. Yeah, you know, that's fine. Let's see what it is for one year. Honestly, that's pretty good. Um, what do we select as the target break even point two years? I mean, I honestly feel safer doing it with two years. Um, as for that, let's put this at 20% and calculate the forecast. Yes, that's definitely better. And then I want to lower this to like 25. I feel like that would be better. It doesn't actually like it. What about 40? 80 is way too high for sure. Yeah, okay, so it likes that a bit better. Actually, you know what? We, do we, should we put a deposit on that? I honestly don't know, so I'm just going to like reload them and then see if it increases our profits. Oh, well, you know, honestly, this is fine. So, let's go over here. So, we got the Sport X and the Waggy. Definitely don't like that name. Please leave a better name for me in the comments. Um, anyways, so what's the total cost? 287 million. We're not going to take a loan for that because loans in this game are just terrible. Um, no loan. There we go. Oh, wow. It's going to take many, many years to produce. Um, to start off so I guess let's just go at 5x speed and I don't know I guess not nah, oh let, we can take a look at the pre-sales whilst it's all um loading up and calculating everything oh so we're not it doesn't look like we're even actually making any pre-sales to be honest um, when it's the new year, which it is right now, let's look at the yearly financial report. So it was just interest. We sold like one car, is that? <laughs> okay. Oh, because this is the engineering. Why is engineering taking so long? I should pay more attention to that next time for sure. Um, anyways, engineering is taking forever. This is when we're going to lose all the money. Yeah. We're not, we don't have any production in stock. That's kind of scary. Because, don't you like usually make pre-sales or something? <laughs> but now we're not making any pre-sales at all. Um, anyways, it's 62. So I'll quickly pause, check this out. Car sales 288. Okay, so we're making more pre-sales. I guess we're just not making any pre-sales because it's taking so incredibly long to do, any, to do everything. Um, that's fine. So there we go, let's go. Doing some more pre-sales. Yep, as you can see, this number is rap more rapidly rising. We just weren't making any pre-sales, I guess, because um, it was just going to be so long until the cars were even going to be in production. Like, by the time it's 64, we already need to make a facelift. <laughs> yep, this is where all the money is going to die. Okay, yearly financial report. So... We made a little bit of car sales, um, definitely more than the year before. Now this is where it's going to get scary because we're going to spend 200 million in the in matter of a few months. We got three months worth of stock minus. Oh, and look at that, it's shooting up. So for right now, the highest sales are the Sport X. Let's see, we're actually making a decent profit. It looks like. Um, anyways, let's click on pause here. 108 million in car sales. Whoa! That is like much more than I've ever had. Okay. Um, I say once, I say like the, I'd uh, like June, July, five, six. It's a six month now. Um, we are we are selling but it's hmm i feel like um making a 
facelift already? Actually, do we, should I make a facelift in 65? Because what's going to happen is then if we make a facelift in 65, our next car is... Um, our next our next car is gonna happen in like seventy, so we're gonna it's, we're, it's gonna be ten years later, and I don't really like that. Um, so I'm not sure to be honest. Um, yeah, you know what? Um, I think let's just continue until sixty five. Um with the sales also because I'm curious as to the um, looking at the yearly financial report because it looks like we're raking in money um, sport X is selling the best for sure oh so we have a quality issue that's too bad severity issue it's very it's significant discovery chance is low cost to fix is average the total cost of this if discovered is in zero prestige I think we'll do a quiet recall because prestige is pretty important now and we can pay three hundred and eleven thousand um anyways look at the revenue with car sales wow so we made a profit of basically 50 million Okay, so next episode, definitely going to start marketing, going to make a facelift of um, the temper beam, um, and then we might even make a new vehicle. Anyways, for right now, guys, uh, make sure to like and subscribe, um, so there will be a next episode, um, and also give me a better name for the Waggy, because I'm, 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 I hate that, I'm just going to cover it up. Okay, you know what, thank you ever so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.